Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Mulkowski, the mathematician, and today we are going to evaluate expressions for a given value of a variable. All right, so in the previous problem, we had a equals seven, so now we're gonna try it with a fraction. All right, so let's see. All right, so uh, just like last time, oh, and if you wanna see that video, because you're coming on this video first, you can click right there, and that will link you to the same problem with just a little bit easier of a number, okay? Right up there. All right, so um, we're gonna do five times, and then remember, a is uh, negative three-fourths, so you're gonna put that in negative three-fourths, um, and then plus two, okay, and then minus four times, and then a squared, so a is negative three-fourths, and then we are going to square it, perfect, and then the whole thing's over three. Awesome. All right, so <clears throat> first thing that I see here is, you know, you could, okay, so there's two kind of two schools of thought here for this first piece. So negative three-fourths plus two, I could say that's negative three-fourths plus two, which would be um, one and a quarter, okay? So that would be, you know, one and one-fourth, all right, minus, and then um, four times uh, negative three-fourths squared. So then what we do here is come over here just to remember. So negative three fourths squared. So remember, we distribute the squared to both parts. Now because it's negative, okay, that means it's automatically going to go to positive. So don't even worry about the sign anymore. So it's going to be three squared over four squared. Okay. Um, and then that's just going to be nine over 16. All right. So that's going to be nine over 16. Okay. And then over three. Now what we can do is we can write this as a uh, improper fraction. So remember to con when converting to an improper fraction, it's just this times this plus this. So four times one plus one is five, and then it's over four, okay? So I can even erase that, all right? And just write it as five over four, okay? Oops, this keeps falling. I'll just pick it up if it falls. <laughs> okay, so five over four, all right? Now I'm going to continue to simplify. So actually it fell and I need it anyways because I got to erase because I'm going to come over here. So now I know it's five over four, but I just want to take it aside and I don't want to do this as like a full on new way, but let's say I hadn't done negative three fourths plus two. Let's say and got uh, one and a quarter because some kind of, I, I know I'm like the one that always talks about like leave everything as fractions. Don't write anything as mixed numbers. Don't write it as decimals. Those improper fractions are the best and they're the easiest. Um, and then I went ahead and did a mixed number, or I could have done a decimal 1.25, but sometimes it is actually quicker to do that. So it's kind of a case by case, but a lot of times it's not quicker to do that. But in this case it was. So let me just show you the other way. So if I had had negative three fourths and I was adding two, I also could get a common denominator um, of four and I could do, so I multiply this by four over four. Okay, because remember I'm multiplying by one, four over four is one. So negative three fourths plus, and then two times four is eight, over four, so then you end up with negative three fourths plus um, eight fourths, which is gonna be five fourths, right? Which is what I have here. So either way would have been fine. Um, just keep both um, in your kind of toolbox because you never know where, when you may wanna use one or the other. All right, um, so let's <laughs> continue. Okay, so, all right, so I'm coming up here. All right, now here's another important thing. So. Now I can multiply this, five times five fourths. Remember, I just multiply the numerators because this is kind of like five over one, okay? So I can do this times this over this times this, right? So five times five is 25 over four, and then minus over here. Now here's something that's interesting, okay? Some students will go ahead and say, okay, <laughs> four times nine is 36, and it's over 16, so they'll write 36 over 16, okay? But you do need to reduce that, all right? Here's what I like to do, and maybe it's the number theorist in me, because that's technically what I am, um, and I just can't help but breaking things down into their most basic components. Instead of writing it as uh, 36 over 16, what I would do is I would say, okay, so it's 4 times 9, okay, because remember, it's just 4 times the numerator because it's really 4 over 1, okay, and then my denominator is 4 times 4, okay, and now look at this. The fours divide out because I could write that, you know, as four over four, which is just one. 
So it ends up becoming, and then remember the whole thing's over three. So what it ends up becoming, okay, is just nine over four, which makes our lives a whole lot easier, right? <laughs> because nine over four versus dealing with 36 over 16, you know what I mean? And now this is, we have a common denominator of four here, so we can quickly evaluate that. Um, so yeah, so I mean, again, totally cool if you want to do 36 over 16. Um, you know, if you did 36 over 16, what you'd probably do is say, okay, they're both, some of you might catch they're both divisible by four and get nine over four, but if you don't, you know, you divide it by two. So that's going to be what, 18 over eight. And then you check again, oh, they're both divisible by two again. So that's nine over four. And that's cool too. Both ways get you there, but I just kind of, I love breaking things down. Um, just because it becomes easier and it's less thinking that I have to do. Um, all right, so let's continue. We're almost done. So 25 fourths minus 9 fourths, remember, because the denominator, so I'm going to kind of come over here, because the denominator is the same, it's going to be something over 4. Um, so I just have to worry about the numerator. So 25 minus 9 is 16. And then remember, that's my numerator. My numerator is 16 fourths. So then I have to divide by 3. Okay, so then my numerator is 16 over 4, which actually I know is 4, okay, because 16 divided by 4 is 4 and then over three, and that is my answer. So there you go. Hey everyone, I'm Ms. Mulkowski, the mathematician, and I hope you found that last video helpful. If you have any questions, or if there are any topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'm going to leave you with the most important piece of advice I can give you, which is when you're doing mathematics, always ask why.